Hi, my name is Megan Ballard, and I am the editor of the Proceedings of Meetings on Acoustics, or POMA. POMA publishes Proceedings of Acoustical Society of America meetings and other meetings co-sponsored by the ASA. POMA supports the ASA's mission to generate, disseminate, and promote the knowledge and practical application of acoustics. POMA is especially well poised to provide publishing opportunities for student authors who are our next generation of acousticians. In particular, POMA has a highly qualified editorial board who are dedicated to provide useful feedback for student authors. Our rapid editorial process benefits students who are building their CVs. Also, POMA articles are published online and are permanently archived with a DOI number. Additionally, the cost of publishing in POMA is included in the ASA conference registration fee. But you don't have to take my word for it. We asked several students about their experiences with publishing in POMA. Their responses describe their own unique experiences as well as their common observations. I like publishing in POMA because it gives me a quick, easy, and efficient way to get my research out after an ASA conference. Oftentimes I'll get questions from people attending the conference um, that want to know more about my work, and then it's really easy for me to refer them to my POMA paper. I like publishing in POMAs because it gives you an opportunity to publish negative results or small side projects. I've published in two POMAs before. One was in my main research in a study that I didn't think would be considered for a larger publishing journal. And then the other one was with a smaller side project just to help get the research out there and help spread inspiration for it. Um, I like publishing in POMA and the idea of a POMA because it gives us the opportunity to be able to publish and work on projects that aren't necessarily your main projects that when you're going through school. So for me, I worked on a side project in musical acoustics, though my main project is in biomedical acoustics, and I was able to, to publish that work through POMA. So I like publishing in POMA because the review process is useful uh, for me and considerably less painful compared to other acoustic journals. I had a turnaround time of less than a month from when I submitted my manuscript uh, to receiving the feedback um, for review. And the comments were incredibly helpful for me. And after making the appropriate changes, I received a almost immediate response of acceptance um, once I made the appropriate changes. I like publishing in POMA because it's a low pressure way to be able to get my publications out there without having to go through the entire process of a peer reviewed journal. I like publishing in POMA because it provides me an opportunity to quickly publish and introduce ongoing research to the broader acoustic community not just those who were able to attend the presentation at an ASA meeting. I believe POMA is an effective means for training students for scholarly writing. My very first publication was a POMA as an undergraduate student. The writing process I went through with my mentors and co-authors for that POMA set up my foundation in scientific writing, which has benefited me in subsequent publications, my graduate work, and professional career. I think POMA is a very efficient vehicle for teaching students how to write academically. As a student myself, I've learned a lot from publishing in POMA. It offers a much less stressful um, avenue for getting your work out there, and it's a great way to get started writing if you're a student. I do believe POMA is a good opportunity to um, publish, especially as a newer researcher or if you're doing newer research in general. Um, specifically, in one of my cases, I did, this was one of my first journals. I didn't think that it was going to be an interest for larger journals, and it was a nice way to kind of just get my name out there, get my research out there, and also be able to reference this in my future work. I think POMA is an excellent way for, for new students and even some early career professionals to gain scholarly experience in the publishing process, in the writing process, the editing process, uh, and I think it's a very valuable resource for, for people to take advantage of. Yeah, 
Um, Palma is a great venue to train students and young researchers uh, for academic writing. Uh, my Palma article was actually my first published paper. Uh, one of the great ways um, about this Palma or about Palma in general is that you also learn how to respond to reviewers. Learning how to respond to reviewers, especially for uh, publications, is incredibly helpful and something not taught in the classroom at all. Um, so learning about that part was actually really, really critical and a part of just being a really good training um, opportunity for young researchers in general. Um, so yeah, POMA is a great opportunity, a great place to practice that. One of my POMO publications provided me the opportunity to reflect and improve upon my research for a subsequent AAA presentation and journal article. Writing is a fundamental component of the scientific process, and publishing in POMA is a great means to practice and publish your writings. I think POMA has specifically benefited me by serving as a springboard for ultimately publishing in JAZA. Oftentimes, I'll be done with a conference, an ASA conference, and I won't exactly know how to turn my talk into a research paper. But POMA provides a middle ground, a step in between the two that has been really helpful to me. POMA was extremely beneficial to me, um, especially during the research process, because it really gave us an end goal uh, and a landmark to be able to work towards, aside from just presenting at a conference. Uh, being able to compile all of our research and write it into a paper um, was a great step in the research process that we were able to work on. POMA has benefited me because it's enabled me to be able to get my name out there, be able to author some papers, and to be able to help me gain experience in writing. POMA has benefited me in giving me opportunities to publish ongoing work while it's on the road, so to speak, to a later full journal article in JAZA or another publication. As a student, getting the opportunity to publish work regularly gives me the ability to communicate important intermediate developments in my work, allowing for reaction and feedback from the community at large. I highly recommend publishing a POMA as a way to practice your scientific writing, disseminate research, and build your publication resume. I would definitely recommend to students that they publish their work in POMA after an ASA conference. It's a great way to really formalize whatever talk you gave. It's a great way to share your research with people that were not able to attend the conference. And it's a really low stress environment to practice your academic writing. So there really is no downside in publishing in POMA. I would highly recommend it. Yes, I do recommend people publish in POMA. I think it's a very efficient and quick way to get your research through the door. I would definitely recommend other students publishing in POMA. It's a fantastic resource to be able to practice your writing skills, learn the editing process, and quickly get your research out there into the world um, after a conference. I would highly recommend that other students learn how to write POMAs and to be able to publish in POMA. It's been a good experience for me and it's been something that has helped me be able to exercise those writing muscles. I would strongly recommend publishing in POMA to other students. It's a great way to get your work out to the community.